when TK come pan up, pan up. We know one bad news, pan up, pan up. Only good news, pan up, pan up. When they jump on the top, pan up, pan up. Pan up, pan up. We wrote a song for you, TK. Oh, listen. Me, please. <laughs> People are wondering, what's happening? What is it? Welcome we back to Sunrise. It's now time for the headlines. <laughs> and as usual, we head over to our headline screen. She's a headline queen for life. Hey. Hey, TK. <laughs> hey, TK. Great morning. Great morning, my musical oh, team. Hey. I don't know. I, I don't know. <laughs> Can we jump into the headlines, please, before they, before they come up with another song? How yeah. about that? So, the verdict for vibes. I'm sure mm. we've all heard about this. After 12 years behind bars, famed dance hall entertainer Adija Vibes Cartel Palmer is seeing some semblance of light at the end of the tunnel. On Thursday, March 14, the Judicial Committee of the Privy Council, which is Jamaica's final court of appeal, ruled the conviction against him should be overturned. No, that does not mean the matter was acquitted or that he's now free, anything like that. In a nutshell, it means the matter was sent back to Jamaica for a decision to be made about whether there will be a retrial or the case will be dismissed. And that was also the fate of his co-appellants, Andre St. John, Kahira Jones, and fellow entertainer, Sean. Sean Storm Campbell. Mm. So that, of course, was big. Big, big, big news. Big you know, news you know, yesterday. We, we we're in a festive season because of the elections, but the, the festivity... It doesn't yeah. end. Yesterday. Yeah. It doesn't end. Yeah. I tell you, excitement. But it, it doesn't end because it's like, also, it's now back here. I know yes, there has yes, to be a decision yes. made if there will be a retrial, if it will be dismissed. I mean, that's it's it's gonna it's, an, it's another saga. You know, yesterday I had to reacquaint myself with the word, uh, the verb quash. Because growing up, I used to say squash. No, squash it. Squash I thought it. it was squash. You know, it was yeah. squash it. No, it's squash. Yeah. You know, so quash yeah. really means that it was suppressed, it's um, overturned. So... From the Privy Council's end, they have determined that the convictions no longer stand. So, which means that, that both uh, Cartel and the, the co-appellants, that's um, Andre, um, Sean Son, Kaira, they are no longer convicts in, 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 legal, in the legal sense. So, let's see what happens because if they're no longer convicts, then the, the, the defense lawyer, they're going to be appealing for bail. Yeah, they can now apply. apply. They can now yeah. apply. Yeah. They apply can now apply for, for bail, bail yeah. and they can now see are we going to have a retrial? Yeah. Is it going to be dismissed? Yeah. Can we have a retrial yes, based a on the amount retrial, of right. and mm -hmm. based on the amount of time that has passed and the amount of information that has been swirling about the case mm -hmm. since then? Mm -hmm. Will it be a fair um, retrial? Will we be able to find you know mm -hmm. jurors who will be able to? You know, look mm. at this case. And the truth through. is that could it again go to prison? Meaning, this is just <laughs> yeah, a, a, another cycle another again, cycle. and it's, it's you know, crazy. You know, I was thinking, why couldn't it, since that's the final uh, court of appeal, the Privy Council, mm. could it have been they uh, brought a final uh, position? Could it have been that they determined that, okay, they are, they are now to be freed, or, you know, without it coming back to the Jamaica's uh, court of appeal for a decision? Could have been done there. I'm no, I'm no, um, I'm no, expert, I'm, so when, <laughs> when, when we call on the luminaries to, to help us and guide us. <laughs> when, Mrs. K when Mrs. Kitty <laughs> returns, yes, Mrs. Kitty, <laughs> with, her legal, <laughs> with her legal prowess, she will yes, be able to yes, guide us. Yes. We're gonna have them answers right yeah. for you. Right now, I'm just trying but to figure out the verb quash. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> but that's 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 what's uh, happening with um, Vibes Cartel et al. Yeah. Um, for now, and we will continue to watch and see what happens there. So, uh, let's talk next headline. Uh, no swearing for JLP councillors. I don't know if you saw this mm -hmm. happening. Um, controversy at the recent Montego Bay Municipal Meeting. So, two JLP councillors, Gregory Harris and Anthony Murray, were asked to vacate the St. James Municipal Corporation Chambers on Thursday. The demand was made after the two councillors were not officially sworn in, having refused to swear on the Bible. Um, swearing in is a requirement in the oath-taking process, but the councillors explained they had expected another option to be provided, so they refused to do so. Um, they wanted to, you know, affirm instead. However, that option was not granted to them, and so the councillors left the chambers to watch the proceedings from the gallery instead. So, uh, apparently for, you know, some persons for religious reasons, Right. Other yeah. the options they do not swear, right. and they, right. give the, the they affirm, affirm instead, right. but mm -hmm. that option was not granted, right. and so 
And so, um, yeah, so they, they doubled mm. down, refused to swear, it, and they just... They That's left. news. I've never heard a refusal to swear on the Bible. Mm. Um, and, and there are so many uh, swearing in ceremonies happening now because of the recent local government elections. But that's pretty interesting. Yeah, lots but, of people but, but, also but, swear but, but, on the but, Bible and don't do yeah, what they're supposed to do. <laughs> no, but you know, there are several, there are several, I mean, I guess maybe because a thing wasn't made of it, but there are several um, officials who ha who don't swear right. in. Yeah. So yeah. like the, the governor, is, wasn't the governor general right. affirmed, right. the right. prime minister affirmed. Right. Mm. Um, so affirming is actually done. Right. It's just... Why wasn't it offered to Why them wasn't at the it offered at this mm. time? So interesting. It was an interesting case. Interesting, indeed. Very interesting, yeah. indeed. So you, you, ready for, you ready for your feel-good Friday I headline? Am. Let me tell you. Yeah. You need it? it. I'm yes. ready. Let's Are you ready? Two ready headlines. Yeah. Let's quash it going. I'm going to use quash as many times as I can. <laughs> yes, quash. <laughs> you know, you learn a new word yeah. and you're like, use it in a sentence. Yeah. <laughs> I got you, girl. I got you. All right, so your feel-good Friday headline. A mom uses... Mm. Her kids' mm. birthdays to win $1.5 million wow. in the lottery. Wow. How awesome is this? Mm. So, <laughs> piss up me and all. <laughs> <laughs> An Illinois woman scores $1.4 million, and of course, this is USD, a $1.4 million uh, dollar lottery jackpot with a ticket she bought using her children's birthday numbers. Wow. The player, identified by the nickname Lucky Mom, told Illinois lottery officials she used her kids' birthdays to buy a Lucky Day lottery ticket on Line and check the results during a late night parenting session. She said, I have the best job in the world. I'm a stay at home mom and I already feel very lucky and blessed for where I'm at in life. But today, the word lucky took on a whole new meaning. $1.4 million wow. will do that for you, right? Wow. <laughs> so on this particular day, that turned out to be the luckiest numbers of all. Um, she always uses her kids' birthdays, but yeah. today, you know when they say you're bingo? Yes. Yeah, man, she's yeah. bingo, bingo, man. So she has five children, I imagine? I, I, Meaning yeah. if it's five number for a lot, I don't? Yeah. No, no, yeah. it's more, seven? It's five? Yeah, it's five. Yeah, but remember you have the month, so you have the zero, you have eight, the, you have the 40. Okay, right, remember, that's true. you have, if you're, if you're well, trying to but, 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 but the children don't earn rights now to the money? No, look here, I might feel that <laughs> children wouldn't even know. <laughs> then when I just... <laughs> upgrade, upgrade. No, let me ask you a question. Mm -hmm. You win the lottery right now, yes, and the money? Me personally, not really. <laughs> I didn't even hear the question. Win, win, you hear that? But Your wife would like not say, tell you if she won the lottery. Everybody will get a upgrade. They will say, yo, all this, okay. take that. Got you. Yeah, take bun and cheese. Okay, <laughs> not just the dry bun. What a blessing you are to the, to the family. Yes, no, no, I'm just kidding. I, I mean, I wouldn't be able to hide that at all. I would be too, I mean, you see, when I get anything at all, very excited. So I can't imagine if I ever won the lotto. Everybody would know. Yeah. You get a car, you get a car, you get a car. <laughs> if they ever oh, see me in a lot of line, remember, yeah. oh, yeah, <laughs> they're yeah. going to talk about oh, this. Oh, gosh. Thank you so much, TK. Absolutely. Even though you didn't like our song, I loved fine. it. We'll I did. I loved it. We'll just quash it, okay? okay? On the other side of the break. Quash it. <laughs> it's time for R to the E to the A to the C to the T. So we can't spell. We'll be right back with React. React. <laughs> 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 yes. 